Hello viewers, this is Shomen from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. Today we will refresh our knowledge about the fasteners. Maybe we don't know what is fasteners, but if I told you nuts, bolts, screws, you will know it well. So our main highlights will be types of fasteners, nuts and bolts and screws and their uses and their applications. Let us start. What are fasteners? A fastener is a hardware device that mechanically joins two or more objects. In general, fasteners are used to create non-permanent joints which can be removed or dismantled. Some examples of fasteners are bolts, clips, latch, pins, sockets, nuts, washers, nails and screws. What are standard fasteners? Fasteners are used to mechanically join or affix other hardware objects together and come in many forms which include rivets, nuts, bolts, studs, screws, washers, eye bolts, nails and threaded fasteners. What are five types of permanent fasteners? Clutch head security screws that can be installed with a standard slotted screwdriver. Then sentinel security screws Kinmar permanent security fasteners, security web nuts, shear snap-off fasteners, no-go security enclosures. These names we don't need to know or remember, but we will discuss today what we are using widely for our industrial applications during our work. You can see the rivets here. Rivets are of different types. What are the rivets used for engineering? A rivet is a mechanical fastener for making a permanent joint between two or more metal sheets. Riveting is the act of fastening or securing two plates with one or more rivets. When were the rivets used? As early as 3000 BC, the rivet made in first appearance in Egypt as a joining elements for the manufacturing of several tools and objects dirt that means fixing a handle on jars. Later it became a fastener commonly used during the Gallo-Roman era. What is the benefits of rivets? Unlike a bolt that can become loose over time, rivets are durable fasteners that securely stay in place after installation. Their larger surface area also gives a high pressure resistance, making them less likely to snap or break. Why use rivet instead of welding? When two components are welded together, only the exterior of the components are joined together. On the other hand, using a rivet connects the two components from inside, thus allowing for a stronger and more durable joint. What rivets are used for automotive? Plastic pop rivets are ideal for automotive. Plastic and nylon pop rivets are commonly used in automotive manufacturing because they are strong, stronger than aluminium, lightweight and non-corrosive. They are also useful for joining painted surface because they are less likely to mar the surface than the metal rivets. Now, nuts and bolts are a type of fastener made with external threads that pass through a hole and fashion in place with a nut to a specific torque specification. The most common head type is hexagonal and the other head types you can see is spade, square, carriage, T-type, U-type, I, etc. depending on the application. The thread type is either coarse UNC and fine UNF. What are the nut bolts? The bolts are threaded fastener with an external female thread. Both bolts and screws are closely related and people often get them confused with the screws. There is no university accepted difference between the two, but both are completely different. Bolts always come with the matching nuts when screws does not have nuts. This is the basic difference between the two. What are the different application of nuts and bolts? There are the application of bolts in various industries. Bolts are used to join two or more flanges together. The flange is a method of joining the valves, pipes, pumps 
together. Bolts are used to join them, which is the biggest work to provide strength to the equipment. Many steel structure and building fittings are fixed with the simple bolting. Hexagonal bolting together with the machining nuts are used to join two pieces of fittings and fixtures. Small fixtures such as wood and furniture structure need bolts with the matching nuts to secure the two or more pieces of wood together at one place. Bolts and nuts together with a washer are used to hold the sinking piece of woods and secure it tightly at a place, hence provide the strength and durability while fixing the pieces. Types of threaded fasteners. Cap screws are similar to the bolt but with tighter clear with tighter tolerances. These are also have external threads to fasten the mating object. The hexagonal style is also known as hexagonal finished bolts. Machine screws normally used for precision applications. It can either be used with a nut or threaded holes on the device. The threads are uniform diameter across the shank. They are affixed to threaded holes on the device. The threads are uniform diameter across the shank. They are affixed to the equipment by using a bit placed on the head such as Phillips, flat, hexagonal etc. is used to rotate the head and thread into device. The thread size can be either fine or standard. The threads are either cold rolled with precision their dies or the threads are machined into the shank. Panel screw has a unthreaded and threaded portion below the head. The unthreaded section keeps the screw freely attached to the equipment panel. Sheet metal screw it is a self-tapping or self-threading fastener with a non-uniform thread. Shoulder screw. This is a fastener with an unthreaded section on the shank below the head. The smooth section makes it easy to use with a bearing, pulley, grommet, etc. Thumb screw. It is a screw with a head that can be turned using the thumb and finger. Set screw. It is fully threaded screw with no head that is used to hold against with another object. We have also a common difference between the studs and bolts. You can see stud it is completely threaded and there is no head. Starts can be used to connect to flanges or pipes to flange or pipe to valve by using two knots at both ends. Lock nut also can be provided for additional uh, additional strength. Starts and bolts, there are more main difference. There is no head in the starts and bolt. There is a hexagonal or round or any type of head directly added to the shank. Choosing a screw by the thread size. Thread size contain two parameter, major diameter and pitch. Major diameter is the maximum diameter on the th of the thread. Pitch is the distance between threads. Generally, there are two international standards used in the thread size in the industry. Normally, UTS is Unified Thread Standard or ISO metric. That means International Organization of Standardization of Metric Screw Thread. UTS, the major diameter of the pitch are represented with a set of codes. For example, 4-40 or 1 by 4 inch dash 20 are the two main parameters are measured in terms of inch. The first part of the code present the major diameter and in case of major diameter greater than or equal to 0.25 inch, it will express in terms of a fraction. Otherwise, if it is less than 0.25 inch, it will present with a symbol of hash plus one digit expression. The second part of the code represents the pitch using the TPI threads per inch value of the code. For example, Keystone Electronic 9906-38 model thread size is hash 8-32. 8 means 0 0.1640 inch major diameter. 8 means 0 0.1640 inch major diameter and 32 means 0. 
जीरो थ्री वन टू फाइव इंच पर पिच आई एस ओ मेट्रिक थ्रेड इट इज ऑल्सो यूजिंग ए सेट ऑफ कोड्स रिप्रेजेंट द मेजर डायमीटर एंड पिच द मेन डिफरेंस ऑफ यू टी एस एंड आई एस ओ मेट्रिक इज मेजर इन मिलीमीटर्स द कोड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम ए एक्स बी बी वेर ए ए इज द मेजर डायमीटर बी बी इज द पिच फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेमोन्ड मैनुफैक्चरिंग वन फाइव नाइन वन एम एस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन मॉडल इट्स क्रू एम थ्री इंटू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव दैट मीन्स थ्री एम एम डायमीटर एंड पॉइंट फाइव एम एम पिच प्रोडक्ट टिप्स इफ देर इज नो कस्टम मेड स्क्रू ऑल द मैचिंग ऑफ मेजर डिस्टेंस एंड पिच एस आर स्टैंडर्डाइज अंडर आई एस ओ मेट्रिक स्टैंडर्ड इन सम केस द पिच स्टैंडर्डाइज इज पॉइंट फाइव एम एम फॉर एम थ्री स्क्रू सम मैनुफैक्चर विल सिंप्लीफाई द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ थ्रेड साइज इन एम थ्री यू कैन सी द कंपेरेबल फोटो बिटवीन बोल स्क्रू एंड स्टार्ट washers so there are different types of washer the metal washers are there there are plastic or non metallic washers different shapes and sizes eye bolts there are different types of eye bolts also there is another type of temporary fasteners which are nails which we are using day to day there are concrete nails there are nails used for woods you can see sheet screw based on their application spring nut pressed nut screw or nut flowing drill screw flow hole forming collar forming thin sheet screw so you can see their applications too hey listeners this is the this is the end of this threaded and fastener sections i go in very brief collected some knowledge from google and share some of my experience too Hope you like my way of teaching so please don't forget to hit the like button and please share and subscribe my channel signing off showman